Have you ever wanted to play your DS, but there's just too many options? Yeah, the home menu, that's what I'm talking about. Way too much stuff. I, I mean, how are you gonna play the hit 2010 DS game Shrek Forever after the final chapter? Don't you recognize me? It's me, Shrek! Well, I might just have something up your alley. This is my custom DSi, and as you may be aware, there is something a little bit different about it, aside from the stickers. You might have noticed my DS does not have a home menu. That's because this DS is no ordinary DS. This is the Shrek DS, or SDS for short, patent pending. It does one thing, and it does it very well, might I add. It only plays Shrek Forever After. All you gotta do is turn it on, and you're in. You don't need to fool with any of that menu garbage. This is the tool to get you from sitting on your couch not playing Shrek Forever After the final chapter to sitting on your couch crushing some Shrek Forever After the final chapter on your DS. It's actually pretty simple to achieve this glorious device. All you have to do is homebrew your DSi. It's so simple, in fact, you're about to learn in two minutes or less. Make sure your camera works and you're up to date on the current software. Insert your SD card into your PC and download the Lazy DSi file downloader. The link is in the description. Run the .exe. Check some boxes and select the folder of the root of your SD. Download and click finish and then reinsert your SD into your DS. Go into the DSi camera and hit DSi camera in the top right, then select start. Then select the SD and then album. You'll see a flash of colors, do not panic. This is supposed to happen. Select the language that matches the region setting of your console. Tap the bottom screen to continue. With Twilight Menu++ plus plus open, tap the select button, then hit the DS icon at the bottom of the screen. Use the shoulder buttons to go to the MISC settings and change the SysNAN region from auto to the correct option of your device. You may close out settings and return to Twilight Menu. The next step is optional, but honestly do it. We're gonna go ahead and back up the SysNAN so you don't ever brick your device. Scroll in the Twilight menu until you see Dump Tool. Enter and press to begin NAN dump. This will take a few. Press Start to exit and turn off your system. Insert your SD back into your computer. Your NAND is going to be this weird string of numbers and letters. Save and copy that to your PC if you want. Repeat the steps where we access the Twilight menu through the camera. Press the select button again and the small DS icon. Scroll to Unlaunch Settings. Change the background settings to anything else because the default is very difficult to navigate. Exit the Settings menu. Scroll to Unlaunch and once in, select the Install option. Once complete, power off the DS and upon powering on again, hold A and B. This is how you will always access the Unlaunch menu. Now to make it easier for yourself, you're going to want to select Options and change the No Button Hotkey to Twilight Menu. This will load the Twilight Menu on launch. For all intents and purposes, you're done. That's it. You have now modded your DSi. However, if you want to get that sweet, sweet Shrekness on startup, there's just a couple more steps to loading a game on launch. If you just try to load a .nds file on launch, I found that it'll just freeze on a white screen. So we have to create a shortcut using NDS Forwarder. First, go to the link in the description labeled NDS Forwarder. Then you want to download the latest version of the tool. Open the root of your SD and drop NDS Forwarder.dsi into the folder. Then once back in your DSi with the SD card inserted, open Unlaunch by holding A plus B on launch. Scroll down to NDS Forwarder-DSI and launch the program. Then select Install. Then navigate to your .nds file. In my case, that's ROMs, NDS, then Shrek Forever After .nds. Then select Install and hit Yes. Once you're done, you want to restart your system and enter Unlaunch again. Remember when we selected the No Button Hotkey to be the Twilight menu? We are now going to select that option again and change it by scrolling down to the bottom until we see Shrek or the game of your choosing. Then select Save and Exit, and boom, you should be done. Now you may be asking yourself, why would anyone do this? Then I may ask, don't you know how to have a little bit of fun? Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Shrekesians 1224. As for the stickers, you can find them in the link in the description, and they are totally worth the buy. You may also ask Julian, did you buy a green DSi for the sole purpose of a dedicated Shrek DS or SDS patent pending? And I may have to tell you that I'm an ogre achiever. Hey, ever thought about Shrekking over that like button? I know you may be ogre, every YouTuber asking this, but consider subscribing. 
you may find that there are many layers to my videos. See you later. Ogre now. Okay. Okay, I'm done. <laughs>